I'm Craig Michelson. I'm an actor and a filmmaker, and I just got back into the hobby after a 15-year hiatus. I collected at the worst time to collect. But it was also the Northwest Territory retail manager for Excel, putting cards and collectibles into stores such as Target, Shopco, and Fred Meyer. I also worked in minor league baseball for a few seasons. Don't think, just run. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby, one pack at a time. Now let's go rip some packs. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Rippin' Packs. Today we are opening a pack of 2020 Topps Heritage. Mm. Picked it up from Big Lots. Was uh, Looks like that's a fat pack. Uh, that was originally probably at Walmart. Could have been Target, I don't know. But we'll go ahead and take a look and see what we got here. Uh, the, the, the Heritage is a play on the older school and the older style of cards. So everything's gonna be a lot more of like the 80s, the late 80s, early 90s when I predominantly collected these things. The style of cards in the thickness and the quality, at least that's what I've been hearing. Again, this is all new to me. I have been gone for 15 years from the industry, so a lot has changed. Let's see what we get from Topps 2020 Heritage Baseball. 15 cards in this pack, let's rip it. All right, here we go. We have got, yes, an anti-theft device. Gotta love these things. They kept me back in the day from stealing many of these packs. And now here we are in my hand again, pointless. Jose Quintana, picture of the Cubs. I do like this look. It is definitely of the, uh, definitely of the uh, older, I wanna say it was 71, maybe 72 tops, I don't know. Chris Davis of the A's, who's kind of off to a really slow start. Pablo Sandoval. <laughs> we'll see how he ends up doing this year off of the uh, All You Can Eat Buffet, thanks to COVID. Mark Melanson, formerly of the Pirates and of the Giants, the failed closer of the Giants, but now he's with the Braves. Who knows what's going on over there in Atlanta, but hey, he's got a job. Adam Adovino. The hard thriller, formerly of the Rockies, now in his second year with the Yankees. Jed Yorko, um, I don't even think he's with the Dodgers anymore. So I don't know when this set was produced. So yeah, I think, I don't know where he's at, but I don't, he's not with the Dodgers, I know that. Anibal Sanchez, yeah, I don't have anything, any cool thing to say about him. Daniel Vogelbach, the big guy from Seattle. He uh, was the only all-star on the team last year and he's a big and beefy guy. A Polo Grounds, Willie Mays card, nice. Uh, not a Giants fan, but Willie Mays is a friggin' stud. And Polo Grounds uh, wasn't around when I was born, so. Luis Severino, um, I think he's finally coming back this year. When he is healthy, he is on top of his game, but he has been healthy, so let's see. Seth Lugo for the Mets. Uh, I have friends who are Mets fans, they don't like him, so there's always that. Ahmed Rosario, uh, same story there. Uh, not a big fan of his. Uh, evidently, he doesn't do what he should be doing at shortstop. At least that's what my friends who are Mets fans, they don't like him. Same thing as Seth Lugo. They just don't like him. Hanser Alberto, the Orioles. Second baseman, third baseman. All right. I got nothing to add. Juan Lagares, another Met. Wow, my buddies must be very happy. I'm probably going to give these to them. I don't know what they'll do with them, but... I'll give them to him because they're Mets fans. And last but not least, Javi Baez for the Cubs. Stud ball player. He's going to get his payday if he hasn't already. So that is what we got from Topps Heritage 2020. It's not a lot to talk about there, but hey, you know what? Opening packs is fun, is it not? Come back tomorrow where we open a pack of... 2020 Prestige NFL. I get to crack out my Niners hat. Be sure to click the like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And guess what? You get to watch me open up Prestige NFL from Panini. All right, take care. See you tomorrow.